Why don't Americans know what you have seen? <laughs> Americans don't want to know. And um, many Israelis don't want to know what um, is going on inside Palestine. It, it's, a, it's a terrible human rights persecution that is far transcends what any outsider would imagine. And there are powerful political forces in America that prevents any objective analysis of the problem in the Holy Land. Uh, I think it's accurate to say that, that not, not a single member of Congress with, which I'm, with whom I'm familiar would possibly speak out and uh, call for Israel to withdraw to their legal boundaries or to um, publicize the plight of the Palestinians or even to call publicly and, and repeatedly for good faith peace talks. There had been a day of peace talks now in more than seven years. So this is a, a taboo subject, and, and I would say that if any member of Congress did speak out, as I've just described, they would probably not, not be back in the Congress the next term. Who are <clears throat> these forces that you're talking about? Well, there's an inherent um, commitment in America, which I uh, share as a Christian, of um, a deep commitment to make sure that Israel is safe. Uh, and, and that is um, added on to by the uh, very effective work of the American Israeli uh, group called APAC, which is uh, performing its completely legitimate task of convincing Americans to support the policies of the Israeli government. And uh, APAC is not dedicated to peace, they're, they're dedicated to uh, inducing the maximum support in America, in the White House, in the Congress, and in the public media uh, for whatever policies the Israeli government has at a particular time, and they're extremely effective.